You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallowed be your name. Oh Lord, we worship you. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Thank you, Father, for today. Thank you, Father, for today. Daily as I live, as often as I breathe, let my whole life be an expression of your grace. Daily as I live, as often as I break, let my whole life be an expression of your grace. I cry above Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. I cry up a father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. Hallelujah, I want to thank you. This is Dr. Timothy of Oha on the line. It's my pleasure to have you today, the second day of our prophetic prayer for the month of October. Thank you for joining me from all over the world, depending on where you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's my pleasure to be with you online again today. I'm glad to inform you that the prayer lines are all working and um, you can connect from anywhere you are in the world. And um, I want to welcome all the, all the viewers in, on the Facebook. Glad to have you today. Hallelujah. Lord, tonight as we go to through your word and as we pray, we ask for your presence. 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 Let your presence be strong. Let your presence be mighty upon this prayer line tonight. Let your presence be strong. Let it be mighty upon this prayer line tonight. Stretch forth your hand of mercy and reach out to us. Stretch forth your hand of goodness and reach out to us. Stretch forth your hand of grace and reach out to us. Today, come and do the thing that you alone can do. We submit totally and absolutely to your will. We submit totally and absolutely to your power. We ask that let your power be manifest again tonight. Let your power be manifest again tonight. Hallowed be your name, my Father. Hallowed be your name, my Father. Hallowed be your name, my Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to hear your amen. Wherever you are, amen. I want to hear your amen. I want to hear your amen. Praise the Lord. I want to hear your amen. I want to hear your amen. I want to take my passage tonight from the book of Acts of Apostle uh, Acts of Apostle 23 I want to read particularly from verse 11 Acts of Apostle 23 I want to read from verse 11 the following night the Lord stood by him and said this was um, this was Paul after a strong night of battle that the that the Pharisees and the Sadducees wanted to rip him apart and this and the and the and the officers had to take him from take him from their midst by fault. That night, the Bible say, and the Lord stood by him and said to him an open vision. He said, Take courage, for as you have testified to the fact about me in Jerusalem, so you must testify also in Rome. He said, As you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so also you must testify about me in Rome. 
Now listen. When it was daybreak, the Jews made a plot and bound themselves by an oath, neither to eat nor drink, till they had killed Paul. There were more than 40 who made this conspiracy. That they, that they, went, they went to the chief priests and elders and said, we have strictly bound ourselves by an oath to taste no food till we have killed Paul. Now, therefore, along with the council, give notice to the tribune to bring him down to you, as though you were about to determine his case more exactly, or about to make an inquiry. And we will ready, we'll be ready to kill him before he comes near. Now the son of Paul's sister heard of the ambush, so he went and entered the barrack and told Paul. Paul called one of the centurion and said, Take this young man to the tribune, for he has something to tell him. So he took him and brought him to the tribune and said, and said Paul, had, Paul the prisoner called me and asked me to bring this young man to you as he has as he has something to tell you a tribune took him in by the hand and going aside asked him privately what is it that you have to tell me and he said the jews has agreed to ask you to bring paul down to the council tomorrow as though they were going to inquire somewhat more closely about him but do not be persuaded by them for more than 40 of them, of the men, are lying in ambush for him, who had bound themselves by an oath, neither to eat nor drink, till they have killed him. And now, they are ready, they are, they are ready, waiting for your consent. So the tribune dismissed the young man, charge, charging him, tell no one that you have informed me of these things. Then he called two of the centurion and said, Get ready. Get ready 200 soldiers with 70 horsemen and 200 spearmen to go as far as Caesarea at the third hour of the night. Also, mount for Paul to ride and bring him safely to Felix, the governor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the story about Paul. Paul was ready to testify for Jesus Christ in Rome. That was his vision, that was his goal, that was his aspiration. His desire was to go and testify for Jesus at Rome. So in the night, in verse 11, an angel came to Paul, or God spoke to Paul in the dream and said, Don't worry. So take courage. As you have testified about me here, I'm taking you to Rome to go and testify about 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 me but let's and just and after that will happen the bible said the next morning some certain men arose and these certain men arose and they cons and they conspired and took an oath that they were going to destroy paul they're going to kill him if not they will not eat they took a strong oath now one thing i want to bring out from this passage is that sometimes when you see a conspiracy against your life and against your destiny, that means there's a destination, there's a destiny that God has in plan for you. When Paul didn't have the dream, when God didn't speak to Paul about going to, about, about going to Rome, the enemies did not rise up. You see, sometimes it's when God has a plan and a purpose for your life, that's when the enemy, enemy rises up to kill the plans, to kill the purpose. Why are you having difficulties? in childbirth is because of the baby that god has destined to come from your womb why having struggle getting to your goals is because of the plan and the intentions of god for you my friend often say that if you're on the road to your destiny and there's no goliath you're on the wrong path because there will always be a goliath on your road to destiny to oppose it I have prophesied unto you that in this last end of the year, the hand of God will so much come upon you 
that you will achieve what you did not achieve from January to the, to the month of September. I have prophesied that. Just like you have a dream of what you want to achieve before the ending of this year. Just like you have a plan of what you want to do before this year runs out. Just like you have different anticipation for your life, for your ministry, for your home. And probably for some of you, there have been strong, strong prophetic declaration over you. Strong blessings. But you are wondering, huh? after all these strong blessings and <laughs> prophetic declaration, why is my case like this? Why is my lot like this? That was what happened to Paul. After God spoke to him in the vision and said, Hey, I am taking you to Rome. I am taking you to your destination. The Bible said the day after, the enemy conspired. They bound themselves with an order that they will not eat for 14 days and 14 nights until they kill Saul. Or until they kill Paul. I stand upon this altar to tell you that every conspiracy over your life, the Lord said, I should tell you they will not stand, then that should they come to pass. Now pray that prayer for yourself. Say me in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the gateway of this month and I declare every satanic prophecy, conspiracy against my life and my destiny, they will not stand in Jesus' name. See, every satanic conspiracy against my life, against my destiny, I chatter them now in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Say, every conspiracy against my life, every conspiracy against my destiny, I chatter you down in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against my life, against, every conspiracy against my destiny, I chatter you, I chatter you down, I scatter you into pieces, I scatter you into pieces, I scatter you into pieces in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, surely will they gather but not of me, but as when they gather for your sake shall scatter. Say in the name of Jesus, every demonic gathering against my life and my destiny, I stand by the authority of the word of God. I command them to scatter now. Say, command them to scatter. Command, command them to scatter. Command them to scatter. Every gathering against your life. Every gathering against your destiny. Every gathering against your marriage. In any satanic altar. Command them now to scatter in the name of Jesus. 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 Every satanic gathering. Every satanic gathering. Every satanic gathering. Every satanic gathering against my life, against my destiny, against my career. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every satanic gathering against my life, against my destiny. I command you to scatter now. Scatter now. Scatter now. Scatter now. In the name of he that that rose again. Scatter. In the name of he that I rose against scatter. In the name of he that I rose against scatter. Every satanic gathering scatter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible also say in verse, in, verse, in verse 12 that they took an oath. They said they have taken an oath that they will not eat or drink until they keep Paul. Sometimes in life there are people who gather together and say they, take, they will take an oath over your life. I remember back those days when I was in university. When one of my lecturers took an oath, so over, over his dead body will I graduate from my from the university. Beloved, I'm glad to have, I'm glad to inform you by the grace of God that he died. I graduated. I didn't stay a day or or a minute back after, after university because he said it's over his dead body. There are people that have taken an oath that you they will not let you succeed in that company. They will not let you prosper in that family. You will not have peace. They would have said that you will never give birth. They have taken an oath, every satanic oath over your life. I stand upon the authority of the word of God now. I scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Some are witchcraft oaths. Some are marry oaths. Some go to the marabou's altars and they take an oath that, that nothing good will come to your hand come to your life or nothing good will stay in your life or you may get to there you may to get to the you may you, you may get to the, the prosperity but you don't enjoy it these things are satanic oaths i want you to pray today for yourself say in the name of jesus every man every woman that have taken an oath against my life to punish me oh god oh god I scatter those oaths. I empty those oaths of their power. I said those oaths will not stand. Neither shall they come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I condemn them with their oath. I condemn them with their oath. I stand upon this altar. I condemn everyone who has taken an oath that over your over their dead body will you progress in life. Just as they have said over their dead body, Lord, today we declare their obituary. In the name of Jesus Christ, knowing that Lord, the Bible says it is a righteousness for you to compensate evil for those that for those that trouble us. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, by the authority of your word, as they have imagined evil and taken an oath against us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be their portion. Let it be their portion. Let it be, let it be their portion. Let it be their portion. Let it, let it be their portion. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When they took that oath and took the and told the Pharisees and the Sadducees to bring to bring down Paul. 
They did not know that the oats will leak. They did not know that Paul will get to know. God strategically located Paul's cousin or Paul's sister's son who had of every of their plan. I want to tell you, no matter where they plan anything even against you, God is there. Holy Spirit is there. To them, it may be secrets, but if you are a child of God, every of their secrets will be brought to your, to your bare hands. Every of their secrets will reach you. Say, in the name of Jesus, I expose every satanic secret against my life, against my destiny. Now, in the name of Jesus, I say, oh Lord, Expose every satanic secret over my life, over my destiny. Oh Lord, expose every satanic secret over my life and over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I say, My Father, my Father, expose every satanic secret over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every, every, every satanic secret over my life, I expose you now. I expose you. I expose you. I expose you. Satanic secrets, I expose you over my life and my destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ, satanic satanic secrets, I expose you over my life, over my destiny, over my life, over my destiny, over my life, over my destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I remember a daughter of God that I prayed in one of the meetings that we attended, in one of the parts of Africa. And um, this lady, her mother used her placenta to offer to a, to a marine witchcraft and her placenta was placed into a, in a small pot in a small clay pot in a small clay pot and her destiny was caged in that small clay pot this young lady obviously tried and tried and tried and tried and struggled all her life she struggled all her life she didn't make anguish but one of the days that she came for the prayer for a prayer meeting as i was praying for her i was praying in the spirit i was praying in the spirit and i realized that at the point she took her hands off my hand, off my, off my, off my, off, off her head. I laid my hand on her head. I was praying for her. I was praying in the spirit. She took her hands off my head, off my. She took her, my hand off her head. Sorry, and she and she left and she left abruptly. I was like, what happened? Then, but I just left. To my amazement, as I was speaking in tongue, as I was speaking in tongue, and as I was praying for her in the spirit, I was speaking in her native language without me knowing. I was telling her, go back to your mother's house, the, where your mother was born. There's three pots. The one in the middle is where the destiny of your life was caged. Ladies and gentlemen, by the grace of God, she brought those pots. The pot was destroyed. The Lord opens satanic secrets. The Lord opens the satanic secret to her, and she discovered it. I know somebody read my book some time ago. As she was, they didn't want to my books. Diverse kinds of prayer. She, she came to a, a place where she was praying, Oh Lord, open my eye. Oh Lord, open my eye. Oh Lord, open my eye. And as she was praying, Oh Lord, open my eye, the Lord showed her a dream. And in the dream, she saw something under her bed that was tied under her bed. Apparently, she didn't know who tied that under her bed. But you know, that thing was tied under her bed. She, she, as she woke up in the morning, she just went straight to what she saw in the dream. And behold, it was tied down there. It was tied down there. Ladies and gentlemen, she removed it and brought it to church and it was destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, after that satanic secret was exposed, her life never remained the same. I, I am praying for you that this month, the Lord will expose every satanic secret over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to pray with every person. Say, my father, my father, open my eyes to see every satanic secret over my life and my destiny. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Jehovah, to see every satanic secret over my life, over my destiny. I can hear you pray. Say, in the name of jesus christ oh lord open my eyes open my eyes to so discover every satanic secret over my life over my destiny in the name of jesus ladies and gentlemen if the if the if the secret that the people had against paul was not revealed to him through his brother the life of paul would have been wasted like you saw they conspired and they took an oath and they bound themselves with that oath and said we must kill paul but God revealed their secret oath to Paul. I pray for you today. The secrets of your enemy.
the lord will put them in the palms of your hand i can't hear you say amen so the secrets of my enemy my father my father put it in the palms of my hands in the name of jesus the secret of my enemy put it in the palm of my hand the secret of my enemy put it in the palm of my hands in the name of jesus christ the secret of my enemy put them in the palms of my hands in the name of jesus say my father my father the secrets of my enemy put them in the palms of my hands in the name of jesus in the name of the this week this month reveal the plans and the purposes of the enemy of concerning my life and my destiny in the name of jesus Christ. this and gentlemen sometimes a marriage will be going through trouble and sometimes the person that you think that is actually helping you is the main problem is the main is the, is the brain behind the trouble water sometimes it's your unfriendly friend the person you think that is your friend that is actually the enemy of your success Sometimes it may be a, a close brother. It may even be a close associate. Maybe somebody that you trust so much. Maybe somebody that you trust so much. If you read my if you read my book, things that couples do to hurt their spouse and to and how to resolve them, I shared a story about a woman who had a counselor. She did not know that this the same person she the same person was the same person counseling her husband all the evil that her husband was doing at home all the wrong information that her husband had about her that is this same woman that she took as a mother that she goes for advice she buys all kinds of things for she honors was the main problem behind their marriage but she came in contact with my book and read it and prayed some of the prayer points that was in that book ladies and gentlemen her eyes open she wrote me back and tell me i could not believe that it is my greatest enemy that I'm revealing all my problems to. I am praying for somebody under the sound of my voice today. This month of October, the secrets of your enemies will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. The secrets of your enemy will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. The secrets of your enemy, they will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your, your destination will not be terminated. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So after the centurion had the story of the conspiracy, what did he do? He assisted Paul to get to the promised land on time. He said, come on. Put soldiers together. You see it. You see. You see it. For some of you that joined later, I read from Acts chapter twenty-three, and I'm from verse eleven. I read up to verse verse twenty. The soldier quickly put garrisons together. He said, "Come on, let's take Paul out." Do you know they assisted Paul to get into Rome? They assisted Paul to get into Rome faster than he would have ever gone. So I am going to pray for you, and you're going to pray for yourself. That every conspiracy of man against my life, let it push me faster to my destination. Let it push me faster to my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on, praise every conspiracy of man, every conspiracy of woman, in my place of work, in my marriage, in my ministry. Oh, my Father, let it push me further. Let it put me further. Let it push me faster to my destination. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, My Father, my Father, let conspiracy of man push me further, push me faster to my destination. In the name of Jesus Christ, every conspiracy of man, let it put me far. Let it push me father let me let it push me further to my destination in the name of jesus christ my father my father every conspiracy of men let it push me further let it 